What's up, collective? What's up, what's up, what's up? Well, anyway, I've been getting a little... I know my two daughters are involved, okay? But, you know, everybody got a story to tell, right? And people make up shit, right? But Tana, Tana, Tana going to tell the truth, right? All right. But I want to say this. And for Ebony to, to go against me like that, that's cool. But this is what I want to say. Ebony, you, ride, you roll around here, you lie to everybody. You fake, you phony, you make it seem like I don't do this. I called the CPS on you. I did this, I did that. But anything I did, I bagged it up. CPS didn't take care of it either. So they ass is under investigation. They should have took care of their business and investigated it when you was with a person that was a three-time sex offender on a child. Make it make sense. Huh, Antoine Palmer? Okay, here we go. See, one thing you're not going to do is play with me. Understand me. you doing all this shit in the background with everybody going against me. You and Tanera. But let me tell you something. I got something to tell both of y'all. But see, I'm going to give y'all the real story. Okay? You remember this. All right? I'm going. I'm going to go. I'm going to go back. Back. Back to how I even got involved with you again. All right? Check it out, y'all. Real talk. And my son was out. My son was out at this time, right? So when my son is, when my son is out. When my son is out, I was, and, and, and y'all, I'm going to be honest, I was still smoking at the time, okay? Let me make, make it, let me, let me tell y'all. So, uh, what happened? Okay, I was on 12th Street. I was on 12th Street, right? And this is how I ended up at Ebony House. Ebony stayed in my grandmother's house, all right? That that was my grandmother's house, you know. Evidently, it wasn't because she tried to turn, but anyway, that was my grandmother's house, right? Nice, but it was nasty. The bathrooms were dirty. I mean, just everybody go over there just to go to sleep, and they just fuck up shit, shit out. It was, my grandma's house used to be so clean. Baby, what? Boy, please. Boy, please. So, anyway. So, anyway. One day, I uh, I was on 12th Street, right? And and I had on a, like a, a little outfit, but I had on sandals. And I had been with my son that day. And my son had said, Mama, uh, I've been listening to this weather, man. He might want to go on in and go on and change clothes or something. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I said, oh, I ain't ready to go. I ain't ready. I, when I go, you know. So he he gave me money and gave me a whole crack sack. I, I ain't going to tell no lie. I'm straight up. And then I, I, I didn't want to go home. He said, Mama, just let me take you so you can get some clothes on because it's going to get cold. No, not me. Oh, man, take me on 12th Street. Drop me off, man. I right, man. You know. And that's what he did. He said, he don't fuck with 12th Street. Y'all ain't gonna fuck with 12th Street. He dropped me out for the car. Now he dropped me out. He said, call me if you need me. But mama, it's finna get cold, you know. So I'm Anyway. It wasn't no dope on the street that night. No dope dealer. Nobody had no dope. And I had a whole crack sack. That was for me to smoke, though. You heard me? Then I had a homeboy named, you know, everybody from New Orleans, you know, you know, she was a cool nigga, my nigga, I love, you know, you know, I always, I always be trying to hit on me, but me, you know, was cool. I was like, nigga, I you know, and, you know, came down here, you know, and he smoked, but the nigga that, that I'm talking about a nigga from New Orleans, that nigga work, that nigga do anything, the people let that nigga stay inside the motherfucking shop. 
But one thing about it, all them cars was out there, and he had access to all the cars. But if he wanted to go inside, he could go inside. But one thing that motherfucker would not do, period, was take now motherfucker inside that place. I ain't never, I would never went on inside of Man, it be freezing cold. We be sitting out there in them cars. We be smoking like a motherfucker. We have it warm in there. We, that nigga run that car. Man, don't say what a nigga won't do. You know what I'm saying? That's why I ain't never think I was better than nobody. But I had my best time out there when I was on the street, man. I ain't bullshit. That's where I got the most love, man. Real talk, man. I was out there, too. I ain't lying. I was a hustler, though. So let me keep on going. So anyway, one nobody up there, one nobody up there. So me and Eno was sitting in the car getting blowed. That nigga can eat a sandwich, some cookie, open the bags of chips, and we got all this shit here. This nigga, I'm getting this nigga, can't I'm saying, man, look at here. I don't want no motherfucking food. I ain't lying. I was crazy. I ain't lying, but. We we got we was cool. We would laugh and stuff and smoke weed and roll. We be wasting weed. I mean, we was chilling. And then his homeboy pulled up. It was a white boy. And he wanted a hundred dollars worth of dope. Now we on sale, crack, we smoking. That motherfucker took two rock. I'm not bullshitting. And I don't know why he got that motherfucker. And uh and I'm saying Took it out there to him. He said, but this is hers. I, I don't want, you know. That's his homeboy, though. He said, but I got the money. And so uh, he said, come on, Katana. And I got in with him. And we just hit a block. And he said, do you mind if I hit it? I was like, I don't care what you do. Shit, he done gave me my hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, come on, take me back around here where N.O. is. Because I'm going to give N.O. $50 of that money. Real talk. Y'all ain't make it back around there, man. Man, I jumped out the car. Y'all, look, everybody got their own high. It do certain things to certain people. You understand? Look at here. And he and he was so polite. And he said, but he was turning around to take me back. But he, And he said, do you mind? Do you mind if I hit a piece? I was like, nah, shit, it's yours. He hit it on his pipe. He was driving. That motherfucker rushed down and pulled the motherfucking knife. Oh, we might out that motherfucking long, man. I I I don't know what that mother. I didn't I didn't I don't I wasn't worried. I wasn't thought. I didn't give a shit. Man, look at here. I swung that motherfucking door open and I jumped at that motherfucker. He was trying to hold me. He was like, no, 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 I'm sorry. Wait, wait. I wasn't trying to have it. And he, I was out the car and he was trying to grab me. He was like, I'm sorry. And the car rolled over my motherfucking leg. Ooh, we might not ride. I got the, I got the scar to prove it. I ain't got nothing. Look at here. Look at here. Look at that. I'm sure it's here. There you go. There go right there. See that? That's the only scar I have on my leg. The, mm -hmm, there you go. Sure will. That motherfucker rolled over me. And then, what I, 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 I fell out the car. I, I was on the ground, and I was like, oh, oh. So he had put the car in park to get out. Shit, that, that white boy seen all them motherfucking niggas running toward him. He jumped in his motherfucking car and burnt off. And they were like, oh, man, man, goddamn. We got to get a car. We got to get a car. Alan had a car, right? And, uh, I was like, take me to my son. Don't take me to the hospital. I'm full of goddamn dope, you know. I'm high. I don't want to go to no hospital. Just take me to my son. So it's, uh, then they take me now, but Alan, they, who was that? Alan stopped this guy. He was coming to school, right? Ray Ray. Ray Ray said, uh, say, man, take her over there. That's when I was going over there off, off of Riverside. Mm-hmm. That's where Damien was. That's where my Slim was. I'm going to stop saying his name. That's where Slim was. So anyway, 
I was like, y'all couldn't walk. Ooh, we man. They picked me up, put me in the car. And so uh, he said, man, Ray Ray paid him. And he said, when you take him, I guarantee you he going to pay him. So when we get there and my son was outside with his homeboy and I said, I called his name. He said, it's my, it sounds like my mama. And uh, I came, he came around to the doctor and the guy said, Hey, they told me to bring your mama. Now he came around to my side and they said, Mama, he opened the door and he seen my leg. He said, Nigga! And he jumped in he, to, to get that guy. I said, No, 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 no. That guy was like, No, man, no. They, they asked me to bring her over here. He said, Man, I'm sorry, man, I'm sorry. So my son said, Man, what you do? You, 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 what you, what you, you know? He told Damien, Damien told him, Damien blessed him real good. He said, Man, thank you, man. He picked me up. He took me upstairs in his trap house. He told everybody they got to get out. I was fucked up, y'all. I was fucked up. I was fucked up, y'all. I was fucked up, but I was hot, right? So he made everybody get out. He said, I got to get out. He made them get out. So he said, Mama, it's a trap house. I ain't got no furniture. You know, it wasn't no furniture. But you know how they got a tea. You know, y'all know what the trap house is, nigga. A table. A motherfucking big old flat screen TV, a couple of chairs in that motherfucker. You know, food in the refrigerator. You know, uh, got a air mattress in the back, whatever. You know, it's it's straight. But he he uh they had to get he had blankets and pillows, and he made me a good pallet on the floor and cocked my leg up. Right, I'm sharing my story with y'all, and he cocked my leg up and. And he got in that chair, right? And you know, you know, it's a trap house. People was knocking on the door, and he said, "No, nah, now, nah, not tonight, man. Not tonight, man. I, I'm gonna cut it out." So he had a Mexican home, boy. You know, the Mexican don't play. Say, man, ain't nothing going down tonight, man. Nah, I ain't don't let him knock on the door, man. You know, he said, "You got it, Slim. I gotta take care of my mama." So Damien, I was laying on the floor. Damien was sitting in the chair. And he was looking at me, and I was like, he said, Mama, you all right? I was like, Damien, man, Damien, this pain so motherfucking, man, Damien, shit, man. I, I put the shit up. I started smoking, right? I was like, man, I put that shit. I said, man, fuck, fuck this. So Damien said, Mama, uh, what is, what is, y'all know what them pills is, uh, but they for pain. He he say, Mama, take take two of these. I took two. And then he I, I kinda you know, it kinda it didn't top the pain. Fuck no, it didn't. But he was like, My mama run across the street and uh I'll be back because I'm about to clean this up. I said, Damon, I ain't going to the hospital. I ain't going to no hospital, man. I could, I could do this, man. I could do this. That's what I kept saying. He said, Mama, okay. So Damon got some Mexican. Man, he got, he did me. Damon a good man. He a good guy. That's why it's going to hurt me to my heart if my son was involved. That'll crush me to my, my soul, you know, unless they played him and he, you know, that'll crush me to my soul for real, though. Them girls fucked them hoes. But anyway, so... He said, he went over across to the store. Because right, right from the apartment, it was, what was it? Eckers? You know that, that store? Walgreens. I said, like, y'all was there, right? Girl. So anyway, he come back, right? He come back with all the stuff, man. I, he, he told a man behind the counter what happened. It, it was a road burn, you know. Who we that nigga came back. Shit, that nigga cleaned that motherfucker. And I was like, God damn, just, you know, you couldn't, bro, it hurt now just talking about it. Just to touch my motherfucking leg, man. You touch him, just, oh, my Lord. How, oh, man, I can feel the pain. I can, I can, oh, my Lord. That's the worst pain I ever felt in my life. And so, I, oh, it felt, it just hurt. So, and the, so after we did that, he cocked it up. He said, Mama. You hungry? So I was like, what? Yeah, we ate. He can't. You know how? You know how y'all do? 
some cheese. I got all this shit in the can and chips and candy and all of that. And we watch a TV though. We watch a TV. You know, we laughing and shit. And I was laying there and I and I just said we was looking at the TV. I said, I looked up at him, I said, Damien. He said, What well, mom? I said, I ain't gonna baby do it, man. I need to go to the hospital. He said, I got you. He said, Mama, I'll do everything for you, Mama. But I ain't gonna be able to go to the hospital with you. He said, But you're gonna be safe. I got somebody gonna take you. And they're gonna wait on you. And they're gonna guard you. I promise. I was like, he said, cause I can't I can't hear you. And I can't stand to see you go through all that pain. Cause I know you're gonna go through it. I said, all right. He made a call. Three motherfucking Mexicans. <laughs> Two girls. Oh, wait, my And a strong motherfucking Mexican boy. I can't tell you his name. Cause I don't remember. And he kept saying, Slim, no worry. Me take care of her. That motherfucker picked me up off that motherfucking floor. Packed me down them motherfucking steps. Them two Mexicans got in that motherfucking car. Damien gave them gas and Damien said, you know I got y'all. And he said, I got her. On the way to the hospital, that motherfucking Mexican. Big baby held me in his motherfucking arms because I was in so much pain. I was crying. He said, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right, mommy. And then when we got there and they went inside and, and they seen it, what happened, you know, because it was coming through the, we didn't bandage it up, though. And uh, they, they came and got me and he said, no, I'll pack her. I'll pack her. And they packed me on, they packed me on to the back. Packed me on to the back, put me down. And the the, the doctor came in and he was like, oh, my God. And uh, they was trying to put my leg down. Ooh, I, could, I was just like this, y'all. Just like this. I'm not bullshitting. I couldn't get I'm like that motherfucker wouldn't go down. I'm like, <laughs> Ooh, wait, man. I'm reliving that shit. And uh, 